It is noonday sun in Charleston, South Carolina, and I, like a goofus, decided that I was going to mow and trim the yard today. Well, it needed to be done because, well, I've been gone for two weeks doing Nova Scotia with Moto Photo Adventures, um, so this is a bit of a departure of a video because for some reason somebody sent, wanted to send us like a weed eater and a leaf blower combo, wild badger. So I've been gone for two weeks, which means my grass was really tall. And then we had a hurricane come through. So my grass was a little taller because I you know, had to catch up on work and stuff. So it had been about three weeks since I had cut my grass and it was significant. It was significant. So um, I thought it was the perfect opportunity then to put these two guys to the test. And here, here's, here's the results. Um, you're watching me do all of this probably either before I'm talking or a little bit now during while I'm talking, but these are called Wild Badger. These are um, a trimmer, right? And it can rotate to do, you know, up flat and up, up place. And then it comes with a 20 volt battery, which for a small yard works pretty good. And then of course we have the leaf blower, which you know, all, it, it also 20 volt battery. At least the package that they sent to me had two 20 volt batteries included and it, it got a little nozzle on there. So, you know, all of this can be taken, this stuff can be taken apart. Wild Badger. So they wanted me to do a review on it. Well, to be honest, which is my goal and effort in everything we review, even if it doesn't have anything to do with motorcycles, I still don't understand why they would sit. I even said, we're a motorcycle channel. What, what am I supposed to do? Weed eat around my bike for content? So this is, like I said, this is a this is a weird one for me, but here it is. So I'm gonna give you my honest review. Um, I think it was running like a hundred bucks for the weed eater. And then I think the, it was a little over that, maybe 140 or for the combo and all of that. So it, it was relatively a good deal. And you know, I'm, I'm using the umbrella, it's really hot. Um, I have, anyway, this is completely necessary. Cheers, hang on. Oh. Yeah, because I haven't actually had anything to drink since I stopped, you know, cutting grass down. Ah, Coca-Cola. Sponsorship, maybe? I drink Coca-Cola on the road. Anywho, if you have a small yard, the 20 volt batteries will last just long enough. Um, I wouldn't try to cut the yard with it like a lawnmower cut. I wouldn't go zing 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 forever because it, it, it wouldn't have made it. I'm telling you right now that the power that this has has just enough to knock down the seven to 12 blades of grass that are hanging over your sidewalk. Also, it, if you notice when I was doing this, I had to stop many times and it's either bad technique on my part or terrible string on their part or something because I had to keep lengthening that, that string er, like every so often. That, it didn't do it so much when I was just trimming grass, you know, with the vertical, the horizontal mode, like, you know, like this up against the, the tree or whatever. But if I'm going on the vertical side and I'm doing the sidewalk and that, that string is hitting the concrete, maybe I just did it wrong. But it seemed like it did it a lot. I had to lengthen the string a whole lot more than I would on the other one that I had, which was a plug-in. You know, it was electric, but it was plug-in. It had a bit more, it, more power. More power. Anyhow, so my review on this on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say it's about a 5. But it, I get, it gets 5 because it's cheap. Otherwise, it would be maybe a 4. So this one, the, the leaf blower, it blows about six leaves at a time. <clears throat> it's very quiet, that's a plus, but it's very not powerful. If you had to blow the sand out of your garage, that'll work. If um, blowing some stuff off your driveway, that'll work. But if you notice when I was pushing some sticks or you know some stuff around that it was a little bit more mass, no. But again, it's a 20 volt battery and it's a tiny little gizmo and it's very light and it's cheap. You know, you can buy it very inexpensively. So if you have a yard as small as mine, it's, I don't know, 40 by... Well, that was crazy. It's so hot in South Carolina that my GoPro just overheated. So I'm gonna share my umbrella with the GoPro and lean forward while I finish telling you about how large my yard is. It's about a 40 by 60 or so. And most and most of it is covered by hardscape and patio and stuff like that. So I, I would say it's very small. And my front yard is basically the same size. So, I, you know, I, I just, it's small. So. Whew, told you it was hot. Camera cut off again in, in 100 degree heat, apparently. So, um, I came into the garage. Don't mind the air conditioner. I have an air conditioner in the garage. So, again, so I'm fighting this to finish this video just like I was fighting 
to blow leaves around and to trim stuff, fighting it. Is it worth it? Over a hundred bucks, get the job done, sure. Uh, would I pay $50 or $75 more for something a little bit more powerful? Maybe, probably, don't know. Would I recommend it to the viewers? Well, you saw me work it. If it worked fine in the video for you, go for it. If it didn't, then don't go for it. This is my review of the Badger Weed Eater. Wild Badger, Weed Eater, Trimmer, and Leaf Blower. Kind of.